If you want to see me swatch the Pure and Barbie collab palette, then stick around. Hi there, it's Hélène, and yes, we're going to swatch this Endless Possibilities 2 palette, aka the Pure and Barbie palette collaboration. It's a little interesting. I did not think I was going to get this palette, but as I mentioned in my first impressions video, which I did before swatching, I never do that. I'll put that video right there. I did uh, mention that part of the reason I got this palette was a great offer and also a recommendation from a friend to try Pure. So this is my first ever Pure palette. I was tempted by the Rob Beauty Christie palette. It just wasn't really my jam. I had a lot of the colors that were in there. And then I thought, well, this one has a great offer on it. Time to pounce. And I did. So this is what it looks like uh, on the inside after the box, which I like. I appreciate the fact that the Barbie name is just on a, in small font on the front. And it is, it is very Barbie pink. Uh, shadow names are on the back. I did do a look. I used this color, this color, this color, and the one in the center. And that's how the look turned out. Now we are going to swatch. Um, there are a number of pans in here. I think it's 16 grams total. Yeah, 16 grams total. There are large pans and there are four very small pans. And I think I'll deal with the small pans first and then go into the two kind of snowflake uh, design components. And um, the reason I'm going to go into the small ones first is because it's it's kind of awkward there. Let me just show you with one finger next to the pan. It, it's a very small pan, so it's it's a little bit more problematic to swatch, and I'd rather get through those first. And there are a total of 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 15 shades. So I'm going to swatch them all on one forearm so you can see the whole progression. And um, yeah, let's get, uh, let's get going. So I'm going to swatch the four small pans first all in one go. And yeah, it's really hard to get in there. And I don't have huge fingers. So kind of rotating the palette to and fro to try to get into the color. Geez, not super easy. Okay, so here are the first four. So that is kind of the beigey peach color. Then we've got the mustardy one that is on my uh, in my crease. Okay, and then we have the green that is on my outer lid and in the crease and on my lower lash line. And then we have the deep brown that is also on my lower lash line. It's a matte that's not wanting to show up very much. Okay, so those are the first four and I'm going to re-swatch. I can literally barely put my finger in the pan to get enough product to swatch. It's, it's really, the, the triangles are kind of strange. I wish they had just dispensed with those extra four shadows and just gone with the snowflake motif in the middle. Okay, and I can give you the names. So this first one is Skipper. This next one is Friendship. Barista Ken. And Innovator. Wow, Innovator needs some help, but it's also the pinky, so let me just go back in. I do like that deep, deep chocolate brown. Makes me think of dark chocolate. Well, that is as much as I'm going to get, I think, from a second swatch on the brown. And the fingers are more telling, I think. All right, I um, hmm, I think I'm going to do the 
top row of the palette, so these four right here. And it's going to be a relief to have enough room for my fingers. <laughs> not, that, not that we spend a whole lot of time swatching palettes, but it is a logistical challenge on this one. Okay, and we've got another shimmer. So two, three mounts and one shimmer on this one. Okay, so this is Career Doll. Barbie style. I like this kind of color. And then, I think Trendsetter, yeah, Trendsetter and Lifestyle are the next two. The font is tiny. Tre oh boy. Trendsetter and Lifestyle. Okay, definitely going to do a second swatch of those. And here are the fingers. I don't mind the mattes in this palette whatsoever. They seem to do really well. And then Trendsetter does feel kind of like a, it does feel like a glitter. But it's not. Okay, Career Doll. Barbie Style. Trendsetter, which is a really good name for that one. I think this one is Lifestyle. Okay. We have eight swatches so far. I think it's 16, did I say, in the palette? I don't, I don't mind these colors whatsoever. So we have seven colors left. So yes, it, well, it's 15. Okay, so let's do the three in the middle. And this is one that I really, really like. And this one I used, so let's do those three. And I'm going to wipe my fingers off a little bit better because they're, they're stained. Okay, so we have Dream House, Icon, and Came to Play. Came or come? Oh, no. Love to play. Dream House. Icon, which I have on my inner two, two thirds of the lid. And came to play. No, love to play. Love to play. I have no idea why I want to say came to play. No idea whatsoever. Okay, second go, Dream House, oh, much better, Icon, and Love to Play. Okay, love to Play builds up nicely. Okay, it's like that kind of peach, it's, um, just do another swatch so I can see it without so much ring light. Okay, depending on the, the angle, it looks different. It has kind of a goldy peach and green to it. I don't know if the camera is going to pick it up, but it's um it's a very pretty color for sure. And here are the fingers. It might show up a little bit more on the finger. Neat. Okay, and we have just a few more. We have these four down here. And then we are done. And I kind of do feel like I saved the best row for last because I know that all of those colors I would love to use. And you might ask, why didn't you do a first impressions with it? Well. I don't like to do all the predictable stuff, just knowing it's gonna work out or being pretty darn sure it's gonna work out. It's just not as much fun. You gotta have to gotta live on the edge once in a while, you know? Imagination. Timeless. Dream doll. Woo! 
wow, and motivate. Okay, I'll go back in for those. Imagination, timeless, dream doll, I love that one, and motivate. All right, there we go. Um, I think that it's it's an average palette. I don't think there's anything that is wildly different. Um, I think that these two are going to be interesting as far as how they apply on the eye. And I had a little bit of challenge with this one on the inner to two thirds of the lid. Uh, if you watch that first impressions video, you'll see what happens uh, when I try to apply it the first time. But I don't think every one of the shadows is going to be like that. Um, not by by a long shot. I think that this one is not going to disappoint, nor is this one. Definitely not this one. You already know I like that one. Um, these guys, I would reserve judgment. I want to see them in action, so to speak, based on my experience with this one. Um, the mattes, though they don't swatch super, super well, based on having used this one and the deep and this one, um, I can say that they work pretty well. Um, I didn't have a problem with this color, which sometimes a, a, a green like that can be problematic, and that's kind of why I wanted to use it right off the hop, is because I get nervous about those greens, so I might as well just get it over with and try it out. And it worked just fine. Absolutely worked uh, just fine. As a matter of fact, I've got these three on uh, my lid today, and then this one. So, I'm okay with the palette. I'm especially okay with the palette based on what I paid for it. I'm curious to try pure, as in trying all of these eyeshadows and then having more of an opinion. I think the next one I do is going to be browns, this one, and probably this one, maybe this one again, just to try to do more of a pinky burgundy look with the palette because it is the Barbie palette. I should be able to make some very pretty Barbie, um, blonde girl type of inspired looks. So I'll try to do a few of those. Um, I'm okay with it. I wasn't sure if I was going to love it or if it was going to be a train wreck. <laughs> and I think it's kind of in between. I think it's, I think it's fine and, and it has a couple of um, delightful items. Um, and then somewhere I'm on the fence because... The swatches are not necessarily all that telling. You have to kind of try the eyeshadows the way they were intended, which is on the eye. And so I'll have more thoughts later, but yeah, that's what I have to offer regarding this palette for now. Do you have the Barbie and Pure palette? I would love to hear what you think of it, how you use it, what your favorite combinations are if you do. So I'll uh, leave it at that. Thank you so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you in the next video, but for now, take care.